Hey guys, how's it going? I'm back with another video. This time I had a request to do a video uh, based on a ground shot. As the previous video, we had a uh, typical blue sky image, generic shot as you like to say. Uh, again, I would recommend those if you're uploading to these websites to gain more slots versus going in at these uh, types of shots. So what we're going to do again, again, is very similar as we did before. The masking part is just going to be a bit different as I'll show you step by step here. Otherwise, pretty much everything is the same. Um, after reviewing the other video, I noticed there's a few other things that I have forgotten to mention. So hopefully I'll capture it in this video. Again, any comments, uh, feedback, please write it in the comments below. It will really help my channel out and also subscribe too. So we got uh, British Airways right here, the new Dreamliner. As you can see, it's a, gr uh, a ground shot. This time, I, since you know it wasn't really as a fast-moving object, I didn't need to increase my shutter speed. I always like to keep it at f8. And again, since it was dawn hours, low lighting, I had to bump it up to ISO 200. 400 to 800 to 1600 starts becoming very noisy, so try not to go that high. Um, so what we're going to do first, again, like similar video in the past, we're just going to click on the aviation. It's going to reload pretty much everything that's been done. As you can see, there's also a lens correction, which I really like in Lightroom. It kind of helps us level the image, uh, gets rid of all the, uh, if you have a zoom lens, you'll see like a little bit of uh, corners being blocked here. So it rooms a lot of chromatic aberration. So keep it on auto, enable profile corrections, remove chromatic aberration and uh, pretty much our image is almost ready now to be sharpened as you can see. Uh, looking at the histogram again we're a little bit underexposed so what we can do is just simply bump that up about plus 20. Let's do 30. Let's, uh, since the aircraft is white let's increase that as well. Plus 15. Make sure our blacks are black. As you can see right now, nothing is clipping. And we'll do one more. Minus 25, clarity 2, vibrant 7, 5. Once we have this done, let's just crop the image. So cut out the dead space and making sure again the image is level and center. So it looks pretty good here. All right, so here we are with an image. And as you can see, right now we're not losing any detail. There's a little bit of red markings here, but that's fine. Okay, there we are. So you can see, now we're just gonna do the similar aspect of it. Just take it into Photoshop, do our sharpening. And again, if you feel the image is very noisy, increase the noise reduction and 95 color detail and protect detail 75. So once you export the image, right click, edit in Photoshop, okay? It'll be right here. Next thing, which I forgot to mention in the previous video, hit down Control plus L, which brings up the Levels tab. As you can see, even though we did adjust it in Lightroom, we're just gonna bring it up to, as there's no clipping yet, as you can see. But we'll bring it up to number five, to give it a little bit more contrast. Uh, lately, I've been just getting a lot of rejections for contrast and I figured, you know what, the darker the better it is in other words to say. So I increased it to plus five as you can see be before, what it was, what it is now. And as well, there is a little bit of a gap here. So we'll also increase that to 250. And let's do 245 as you can see, it's still a little bit of a gap. So once this part has been done, oh, sorry. There we go. All right, so once this has been done, the next step is also, you can do this earlier in the, in the uh, you know, Photoshop editing, just in case you don't want to do it on the last step, just to make sure there's no dust spots. Nope. Next thing also, go to image, mode, 8-bit channel and always remember to save it in 
sRGB profile, okay? Okay, so that's been done. Now our image is pretty much 90% ready. So what we're about to do now is the sharpening. And one thing also I forgot to mention too in the beginning, before you start any image, best thing to do is just zoom in 100%. Uh, before, of course, let me just go back to the import version. There we are. Just make sure you go through the image. There's no motion blur. If there's motion blur and you try sharpening it, um, you know, the screeners will actually find it somehow, some way. So sometimes you might get away, but in most cases, you just want to make sure there's no blur. As you can see, a good way to find out would be the registrations. If they're neatly clear and crisp, you can read it out loud. Um, then basically the best thing to do is just go on with the image. If it's blurry, again, bin it because it's not worth it. So now we're pretty much at our sharpening stage. First thing you want to do is zoom in to 100%. The image is big as you can see. So depending on how fast you do this or not, but you want to grab this tool here, which is the polygonal lasso tool. So we'll just click that. Start always from the top. Get as close as, you, uh, as close as you can, of course. And from that end, we basically surround the aircraft just uh, masking it because with the uh, magic wand what tends to happen is there's so much you know clutter in the uh, bottom that you won't be able to uh, mask it that best so the best thing to do is just try to get this tool it works amazing as you can see do your best like I mentioned we're gonna still expand it afterwards so it's not like uh, you have to be perfect dead on with it so what I'm going to do is, until I do this, I'm just going to pause the video so that way at least uh, you guys are not bored here. And then as soon as I'm done masking the aircraft, I'll come right back, okay? One moment, guys. Hey, what's up, guys? So basically what we have over here, I'm just going to show you. Let me just click onto it. There we are. All right, so as you can see, the aircraft, I have selected it. And again, do the best you can. There's no right or wrong. The only thing you don't want to do is really dip in the paint. Um, just, you know, again, as you can see, it might take a minute or two. For uh, the first timers, it might take at least a good five minutes. But again, practice makes perfect. As you can see, even though I didn't get all the way right in, I had a little gaps in the beginning. That's fine. Because what we're going to do is erase that afterwards. So once we have selected it, we're going to go to select modify and expand once again five pixels okay once it is expanded let me just take a look here control layer via copy one moment so the layer view layer via copy all right so now we have a copy so let's go to image resize and as you can see wow 4200 pixels of us let's down Size that to 1200. Once it's downsized, let's go in 100%. Like I mentioned, it looks already sharp and we might not even need to do anything, but this is where you have to be careful. You don't want to over sharpen, as I mentioned in the previous video. So I'm at 70%. I'm going to tone this down to about 60%. Might not need as much sharpening. All right, so as you can see, this has now been sharpened. So same thing, let's go, not 70% because we only did about 60%, let's do about 60, 60% here. I'm going to zoom in 300, and under the wing, as you can see, there's a little bit of jaggies. Let's erase these. Okay. Best thing to do, as you see, like the... Again, anything that's not a straight line, more of a curve, you'll see jaggies, and that's where you want to really erase them, like right around here. Get that going. Quite a bit here. Just under the wing. You don't want to, you know, go right on the wing, otherwise you're actually erasing quite a bit of the sharpening. Just make sure you're right at the tip. So that way, any of the sharpening that we expanded 5 pixels, pretty much getting erased. Again, there's no right or wrong, just do the best you can. But uh, in most cases, you really want to just 
erase what you can in around the aircraft. I'm going to be doing this a little bit faster than you know my regular pace just because of course with the YouTube video I don't want to take much space just doing so but if you guys really want to see you know a little bit more on the beginning side just go ahead and watch the first video so with these letters I mean 60% is quite a lot what I'll do is just about 40% and again the Chinese are there where the R is the S on the A, the R's, the W, the A's, the Y, the S. You can see right here, I'm going to get that. I always like to just do this as well. Just one clean swipe, that's all you need, nothing more to it. I zoom out. I forgot up here, see that? And as you can see, the tail has a little bit of jagged because of the the uh, angle, you know, the edges. So what we want to do is just also erase a little bit off. There we are. Again, 40% is fine around the aircraft, but underneath it, do about 60. It's totally fine. So as you can see, we're pretty much almost 95% there. Let's erase some of this off. These are sharp too. And get your sharpening tool, 25% or 30%, whatever suits you. Get some of the wheels, highlight them a bit, right about there, and maybe the front a little, just take the eraser and just do one more clean swipe, and perfect. So once we zoom out, we're looking at it. If you still see jaggies, again, you can do more swipes just to erase them. So that way you don't get the zigzags. The flag looks pretty good, as you can see. We did a little bit there. Okay. So pretty much this is our final product. If you want to sharpen a little bit more, go for it. The windows, the doors, blinds. But again, um, Sometimes it's best not to overdo it, just in case it already looks fine. So let's flatten the image, right click, flatten image, and let's export this out. Save it, save it as a JPEG, and name it to anything you like. We'll just put BA, Dreamliner, and you can put the registration as G, Z, B, J, B. I'll save it on the desktop so it's a little bit easier to see at the final product. Quality, make sure again it's high. As you can see, there's a lot of background. There's, you know, that's why they're 682 size is pretty much up there. Usually it's 300, 400. Let's minimize these. And there we go. That is the final product right there. If you guys want to take a look at this, on airliners.net I will actually be posting the link below to see exactly what we just edited right in front of you and what the other image looks like just to have a comparison it should pretty much be one to one and again when you look at this image I start noticing right about here there's a bit jaggy there we could we could always go back the good thing is when you save it we can always go back and redo it and there's a little bit right about the wing too because again the angle it is so if you're not satisfied with the outcome just go back go right here and just do about a few swipes right there and maybe one swipe right around here flatten the image again and save it and pretty much it should look let's just zoom out this There we are. I mean, it did erase a little bit, but as you can see, this is the final product. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as well. Uh, again, like the buttons. Feedback is always welcome. And uh, hopefully, if you have any other questions, you can email me. And I'll have more videos to come for other shots. Take care. Have a great day.